Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good Judy. Good morning. How are you today? Um, good. How are you? I don't know. My hair is doing uh, something weird. Sorry. Oh, my God, Judy. Mm. I'm in. She's in. I'm in like Flynn. She's in like Flynn. <sighs> I feel like you're eventually just gonna like lose mo <laughs> like a hundred percent mobility in that leg. <sighs> I'll be damned. I'll be damned. It's Thursday, which is <sighs> our Friday. Well, some of our Fridays. Which is my Mostly. Friday. Which I still only have to work days tomorrow, so that's not so bad. Right. And then, yeah, and then you don't have to close, so it'll be an early right. day. You don't have to close today. That's good. All is good. All is good in the hood. All is good, good in the, the world. world. Um, so today's video is being sponsored by, and I'm having a really hard time saying this name. I don't know if, if he's from a different land. It could be a girl. It could be a boy. I don't know. He, she pronouns. But, but Chan Moncure. B U C H A N A N. So I'm just going to call you Butch Moncure because I have issues. Thank you so much. Yes, very much. So. Um, for sponsoring today's video, I look back, because every single time somebody sponsors, I do a screenshot and then I send it to Judy because right now my life is complete chaos and I feel like I can't, like I'm, I'm, that's the only way that I can keep track of what's going on. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. We greatly appreciate it. If anyone else is interested in sponsoring the Angela and Judy show to get a shout out and us go to Starbucks on you. The link for Venmo and Cash App is down below. And also you can give super thanks in the comments as well on YouTube if that is easier for you. Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. It's the Angela and Judy, the and Angela and Judy, the and Angela and Judy, Judy show. Oh. Brought to you by Butch. Hey. It's kind of cloudy today. Well, I was a little shocked when I woke up this morning. I thought it was going to be warm. It's supposed to get up to 78. It's supposed to actually oh. get very warm this afternoon. Look at the shade. It's supposed to get very, ooh, lots of fog. Look at the fog. They said it was foggy, but not everywhere. I'm sort of surprised it is here. Yeah, me too. But yeah, it's supposed to be toasty warm this afternoon, it said. Toasty warm. I'm going to have to open up my windows. Tomorrow, I guess the same, and it's Saturday. It's supposed to be nice in the morning, but then um, great in the afternoon. I see. Because the Bell and Run, if anybody's a runner, if they want to oh. sign up for the Bell and Run, it's Saturday morning. In Green Bay. Green Bay. Okay. And what is the run that we have in our city? That's, that's the like Fox Community. Fox Community's Credit always, Union. That's always in September. Oh. But, um,. That's a jingle, by the way. Yes, the Friday or the Flag Day Parade is Saturday. When is Flag in, Day? Saturday? June fourteenth. Oh. No, but the flag it's always oh. the Saturday before. Oh, in Appleton? Yes. But it's supposed to get rained on. Oh, those poor kids. They just want to go outside so, and have a day. Oh look at that. I have it been. I don't know what that is. I was trying to figure A net for um the bugs. So they can go inside, maybe? I don't know. Bugs. Like, but it's open on each side. Right, it looked like a silo. Or it looked like a barn. Like a mesh. I don't know. Silo. I'll try to figure that out. Judy, this day. is my shirt. I'm not too impressed. Because I thought, I don't know, it's kind of cheapy here. Well, I'll have to I might it return it. I might well, return it. Wells Fargo. Don't ever bank at Wells Fargo. They are, oh. I, I believe, they are rated up in the top five banks that will take your money and run. Huh. 
I just watched a video on that like two weeks ago about the top, like, I think it was like the top five banks that nationwide. are nationwide, nationwide that are shady as fuck. And Wells Fargo was like number one. Really? Yeah, it was bad. I've um, never... saying that like they will. Okay. If this has ever happened to you guys, leave a comment down below because I am so interested to know. They said that they will, without asking you, illegally take your money and open up another account in your name, using your name and everything, without permission, because their credit or their bank needs to get the quota for accounts at their facility. How can they do that? And then they will close them without, yeah. I don't know, Judy. It's a big conspiracy. No, One, I'm just saying. Two, you know, three, how four, can they, five, six, seven. How can they legally eight. do that? And the, and how are they not? Because it's all government. I don't know. And I can't remember where I, where I saw this video. If it was, it had to have been on YouTube because, but, but it was, it, or maybe it was on Facebook. I don't know. But it was very interesting. And I was just. Huh. So upset about it. Well, yeah. It's, you know, a lot of people are getting back to where they don't trust banks and stuff. And they're keeping And they're keeping their cash Izzy, elsewhere. Yep. Izzy um, had a Wells Fargo account. And I can't remember what happened. But I remember there were hidden fees or something. Oh, and she got slammed big time. And she, like my dad had to go in with her and we, they closed the account together. Like my dad was pissed. Like my did dad your, handled did it. Did your mom have an account there? My mom has banked at Wells Fargo for years, um, but now she doesn't anymore either. But, and yeah. That's what I thought, because then something happened with her too? I, th I don't know. I, I just remember something was going on with her. No, but this was years ago. I thought something right. happened, but I don't remember. No, I don't think so. I think it was Izzy maybe. that you're thinking about, but it was bad. <sighs> so I put oh. my hair in a pony today because Miss Angela didn't feel like doing shit this morning. Oh. I slept awful. So I, I did you? Oh. I was sitting like Mark Glove for work, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, five more minutes. Really? Five more minutes. Yeah. Five more minutes. Yeah. No, I, was just, I was sitting in the chair, but I meant like to start getting ready. I'm like, All right. Yeah. I know. So I woke up at, I think people were sending me stuff because I woke up at 1.30 and like, well, I'll have I'm my, I'll have my phone by me, which is the biggest mistake or on my nightstand next to my bed. And if I silence it, then I can't hear my alarm in the morning. So that's a problem. So anyway, I'm hearing, I think I woke up because of that, because I picked up my phone when I woke up and I had notifications. So I was just like, oh, people are trying to talk to me and like, this is crazy. Um, it is crazy. Yeah. People tried to talk to you, my God. I mean, at one no. o'clock in the morning, that's ridiculous. But depending on where they're, where they're they from. are. Well, you guys, and yeah. I haven't really spoken with Mohammed. <gasps> Uh -oh. I don't know what's going on there. The last time I spoke with him, he showed me the engagement wedding ring. It was pretty big. Maybe it wasn't for you. <laughs> Maybe it was somebody else. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna say that you're looking for more husbands. No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Me? Yeah. Hell no. Could you imagine? No. I am completely. Satisfied. You know what I what. <laughs> Oh my God. It would be so interesting if the tables were turned and it was women that had all the husbands. Oh, I, that, that would be. Because. The population would be. Well, the population would go down yes. because there would be a, one woman to like five guys. And I don't know. Would that, could that, that work? That would be weird. I think she would. I think she would just be worn out. That a different cock every see, night. I, that and but I couldn't even like with the different husband, you know, with the different wives. It's like no. You're oh, not, screw no. that. No, uh, uh. I don't want anybody's no mm -mm. juice up in mine. No, no. that's disgusting. That's, and I don't. 
And I don't, okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a uh, uh, negative Nilly Nancy. I don't think swinging is a good idea. I don't either. I don't like it. And I know in the, oh, I, I hope I don't get flagged for this or like, you know, get haters or whatever. But I know in the male gay community, it is very, very popular to just be swinging about, like to have your partner, but then to add people in like for a night or two and then get rid of them and then like hookups and all this stuff. And I just, for no. me, so, for Judy, not at all. No. Have you guys seen that guy on TikTok where he's like talking about like all the people who love Trump and stuff and he's like, for me? Yeah, I don't. I, mean, I don't understand it, but then I guess I don't really have to because I'm. Because you don't have to, yeah. You know, it's like. Thank you so much for stopping at Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Good morning. I have um, a mobile order under Angela. Under Angela. Yep. Right, okay. For you. I got the same thing we got yesterday. Right, Angela, we have two venti iced americanos. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Let's see after. Here. Okay. So I got the same thing that we got yesterday, but instead of the blonde, the blondie or whatever, oh, they're gonna have to trim that mm -hmm. bush. Um, instead of getting that, I got the regular, like their regular brew of whatever it is, like the all American brew I got. So we'll see how that is today. Um, it's a little bit chilly to be drinking iced coffee, but we're going for it. Thanks uh, to Butch. Mr. Right? Mrs. B. Thanks to B. Yes. Thank you so much, oh, B. This is, actually, like, going to Starbucks in the morning, even though I need to leave a little bit earlier to do it, it's just, just so. like the icing on the cake for me every day. You know what I mean? It's just the icing on the cake. And when we walk through those doors holding our is Vera's it? and our Starbucks, people look... Is it just the two of us today? No, it's not. Oh, okay. No, we have three. Okay. I'm well, I'm taking you to work. Remind me to call my friend, though. Yeah. Um, I'm leaving with Judy today. I'm not going to be doing a swimming thing. You guys will find out why this weekend. Judy, there's a Angela. big surprise. And I'm not going to tell you until it's already done. Okay? Okay. Or at least not on video. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> Judy, you're going to be shook. I'm going to be shook? Yeah. You're going to be shook. Hi. Morning. Hi. Do you need straws today? Yes. Thank you so much. That's just not even. Thanks. Thank Have a good one. Okay. Here we go. I'll let you do the straws because I'm driving and we want to be safe. You guys... I also want to say to someone did say, Angela, you're not wearing your seatbelt. I have to, I have a confession to make. I would be wearing my seatbelt. Judy's wearing her seatbelt. I would be wearing my seatbelt, but I, the last time I went to get my car repaired, so my seatbelt has been broken. And the last time I went to get my car repaired, like, like I can... I can buckle it in, but it won't like tighten up on me. It's loose because the unraveling like came undone inside or whatever. I don't know how to describe it. And my mechanic said that he would need to take like this whole thing down. It would be like a whole process. It would cost a lot of money. So that's why I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Haters gonna hate. <sighs> Haters gonna hate. Okay, thank you so much, B. Here we go. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that is now. This is your everyday coffee. Yeah, this is, this a, is the everyday. I like this one. This I, mean, is, I like the one yesterday too, but it's not my everyday. No, th and this one tastes less watered down for some reason, right? It's, it's, it's a little bit stronger than strong. yesterday. It's a little bit stronger mm. than their cold brew too. But it doesn't yeah. have the, but it doesn't have the nutty No, no nut. Oh shit, no nut. I, I like nut. it. What is going on here? 
Was this happening yesterday? This construction? The truck was there. They just did, it's not construction, it's um oh. they're trimming trees. Oh for the power lines and all that jazz, I'm assuming. I like a guy in a construction outfit. <laughs> not that one though. Or that one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Or that one. I couldn't see him. No, not that one either. Shooty. Anyway, back to this polygamy oh. whatever. So there's this new show on Netflix called Keep Sweet. I don't know. What was it? I don't know. It's about the guy with all the wives. I could never have a sister wife. Like, are you kidding oh, me? Oh, no. Like, and I then never even thought of that. Yeah, way. and then like coexist and have like a uh. like not like a sexual relationship, but just like have a relationship with a woman who's fucking your husband. No, not on I my watch. And That's I don't, crazy. I don't, like I said I don't really need to understand it because it doesn't involve me, but I don't understand why. That's so Why crazy. Why it's okay in some cultures. I just don't I get don't it. I don't know. But because I don't, you know, it's not, I'm not. Well, and know, was Mohammed going to marry me and still have his wife? See, he, well, he doesn't. obviously just had a child. I know. Well, he didn't, but. There's a baby. Or we somebody's baby. We saw the baby. You guys, you guys missed it. I was on a live with him, but I was on his live instead of mine. So it didn't you know, record anything. And I kid you not, I'm sitting there talking to him and all of a sudden he pulls out of his pocket a baby rabbit. What? And he put it on his shoulder. He put it on his shoulder. A baby rabbit came Why? out of his pocket. That's weird. It's so weird. That's. I don't know what's going on. I don't either. But that's, I thought, are you doing magic? Oh, he's doing magic. Oh, oh, oh! It's magic. Oh. You know. Oh. oh. Who's this guy? Oh, he was just riding his motorcycle. Oh, I don't like him either. He's too old. I saw Grace. What else was I going to tell you? I feel like there were so many things. This is good. Oh. Thank you so much, B. Yeah. I feel awful that I'm mispronouncing your name. Um, if you're watching, leave a comment and spell it out for me like I'm six years old, please. Sometimes they do that. When I mispronounce something, they'll put in the comments, like, you know, like the pronunciation <laughs> of the actual word. And then I get it. Yeah, hey, I need assistance sometimes. But different spellings. Different strokes for different folks. Even, like, you know, you can take a common name and spell it differently so it doesn't. Right. And that may not even be their name. It could be that that's just their YouTube could or be. their, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man, I don't know. I, I'm freezing. I should have brought my chill. sweatshirt, my hoodie. Oh, I, my hoodie. I brought, um, I brought, um, that sweater home yesterday. <laughs> it's too big anyway. I have to wash it. I oh, my God. <sighs> it looks like it's going to rain. Is that supposed to today? That's what I'm just going by. Yeah, Steve Gee, I Balon. Hope we're not busy today. Steve Balon. I don't know who that is. Channel two. You should have seen how busy the gym was yesterday when I went up there. I could not believe it. It was, and there were kids, yeah. teenage boys that were up there goofing around, throwing towels at each other. You know, kicking the the thing on the mat and then laughing about it, and I'm just like, Ugh. oh, but that's it was raining yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Life fast, July. Is that yeah. that holy thing? Yeah. Oh, I don't do that. Whatever you I believe in, I'm fine. Like any, with that, but I don't want to believe. 
um, fairs, uh, uh, cheese yes, fest. They just the crowds just yeah. The older I get, the, the less, less I like it. Yeah, I know. I just I don't like it. I mean, I like I like live music and stuff. Yeah, but you have to give me space. Judy needs her space. Well, you know what I mean. Like I no, can't, I know. What you mean. I just can't be three deep and just like everybody yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. It's like let me breathe. Mm -hmm. Oh, just all these changes. That first sip feeling. Oh, it is amazing. It is amazing. Mm. Pinky's up. Yeah. I need to clean out the back of my car. I need to donate all that stuff back there. Hey, do you want that big pillow? Or you want me to donate it? Why would I want that big pillow? Oh, I don't know, Judy. To prep your leg up. <laughs> I don't know. Excuse me, thank you. Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you for the offer, but I'll decline at this time. Thank you. <laughs> I have shit to get rid of too. Thank you for being have, so polite, Judy. I have like three boxes of clothes. Do ya? Yeah, I yeah. just donated all those clothes, and I, I, God, I don't know. It's hard when you're like losing weight because you don't want to spend too much money on new clothes because you don't know how long you're gonna be in them. And then, like, I don't know what to get rid of because it's like, am I going to eat the cheese again? You will. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that you're going to go overboard. <gasps> those meatballs. Where, and those, so Son they were pre-made. So. But not frozen, you said. It was in a tray and they were by Kruger's. So they made them in their deli maybe or something. I don't know. And the tray had divots in it. Like uh, in like a styrofoam, yes, kind of kinda like an egg carton, and there were twelve of them in there, and it was raw meat, raw meat that were so already by, shaped. So was it by the hamburger, or I can't even remember where? I, no, it, it, yeah, it was in that area where the chicken and the yeah. like in that middle yeah. section. Um, but it was Italian meatballs, so it was more of like a sausage. Like Italian sausage? Yeah, oh, so good. Really? And I cooked them up in the air fryer. Ten minutes on one side, flipped them, ten minutes on the other side. So I didn't even have to warm up my oven or anything or, you know, whatever. And then I took those noodles and did that. And then I put, I did have cheese yesterday. I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top, but it really filled me up. And I, now, and I was like cramping a little bit. I'll have to check those out. Oh, shoot. My cover came undone. See? Well, well that's because of the way you were holding it. Oh, okay. Well, you were you at it at the top. Okay, Judy. Here's the Vera bag that we're walking in with today. I don't have a Vera. Well, Judy, you need to get one. <sighs> I need to get something. Judy doesn't. Judy's more of a. You need to get a good print, a good summer print, like a loud, a loud one. I am not loud like that. You know that. Change. I. <laughs> hey, I've been wearing more colors. That's change. I know. Change for me, Judy. I'm. <laughs> so I should get a purse that's, that's loud. loud for when I'm with you. Yes. And, and then... That's a good idea. Job and me change my purse every day. Uh, I do need a different one, but I don't know. Uh, I think you should get like a hot pink one. No. Why? My Costco card is in here. Holy shit! No, 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 no. Because hot pink. I does remember. Not, hot pink does not go with everything. Judy, when are we gonna go to Costco? No, no, no. Oh, Somebody's somebody. Coming. What? What? You must be coming to this vehicle because it just went. Oh shit. Quick. You guys, someone had an excellent idea yesterday for a field trip for Miss Judy and I. She said, Angela, why don't you take Judy on a field trip to Five Below in Appleton? Because Appleton just got a Five Below. I didn't know this until I went to TJ Maxx. When was that? No, where did I go? in Appleton recently and I because like I'm never oh did I go to Costco no I was in the mall area oh I went to Macy's backstage and I was driving with my mom and I saw five below and stop it you're itching because I, I it's stress yeah I know that's why I'm telling you to stop 
you've got dermatillomania. Um, <laughs> I have dermatillomania. Oh my God, you guys. You guys, I have a story for you, but I can't tell you now. I will tell you later. Um, what was I talking about? Macy's. We went to Macy's backstage and then I saw Five Below there and I was like, oh my God, Five Below in Appleton. And then somebody commented and said, you should take Judy. So that's where we're going to go. Where is it? Oh, it's in, it, I think it's in the old Toys R Us. Oh, so it's a pretty big store. Look at those clouds and how they're, they're moving just, so fast. It's going to clear up. It's going to clear up. Sunny so sky. it's going to be a pretty big store if it's the old Toys R Us. Well, I think they, you know, cut stuff in half over there. I think that's where it is. I think that's where I saw it. When are we going to go to Costco? Oh Do you gosh. need to go to Costco anytime soon? Feel it feels so nice and warm. I love it. Are we going to go to Costco anytime soon, Judy? Do you need to go? Or not really? Not really. Okay. Not and, right now. I and mean, you've never been to a Five Below, maybe, right? Maybe in a couple of weeks. You've never been to a Five Below? No. Okay. Maybe in a couple of weeks. <clears throat> I don't even know how to describe what a five below is to Judy. I mean, it's I like it explaining is. Wi-Fi to an elderly. You just, you can't do it. Mm. Did you just really say that? I know what a five below is. Well, no, you've never been. I mean, like, you know, like there, how you I've... can compare a store like, oh, this is kind of like Kmart or, oh. oh, this is like the old, like, you know, big lots or whatever. What was that other one? Not Big Lots, but there was another like discounty place. In in our city? Well, in no. the Black Valley. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, I don't know. If I, oh, there's uh, little bugs. Yeah, I just saw that. They must have just hatched in the sun. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I do not like bugs either. I don't either. And Randy sent me a Snapchat. I guess they had like major storms yesterday. I think he's back in Florida, but I can't remember because my mind is mush right now. But he sent me a Snapchat of this huge ass slug on the sidewalk. It was the biggest sluggity snail I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was gross. That is gross. I can't stand them. A lot of people like them as pets. They Slugs? Have, like the little, like, uh, slime, like, um... Uh, Snaily, no, they're snails. It's a snail. Is a snail the same as a slug? No. A snail that I'm talking about. A snail has a shell. I'm talking about a snail with a shell, not a slug. A lot of people put snails in their fish tanks. Yeah. <clears throat> clean, they keep, supposedly keep them clean. Fish tanks stink. I know, but they, I used to they're love. They're beautiful. Love, 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 love them. Me too, but they're too hard to upkeep. Well, even, because even like you feel, what is it called, like the self um, filtration and all that. You, you still, still have to, to it still them smells. And you still have to. Just like a hamster. And, oh, they stink. Guinea pig gerbils. smell. Oh. Rabbit smell. They all smell. Just, Dogs don't really smell, though. I mean, like you can take care of it. Oh. Lickety split. The dogs? No, I'm thinking of oh, the gerbils and yeah. the hamsters. And I used to have this friend that had gerbils mm. and guinea pigs. Oh, God. And her bedroom was upstairs. And <clears> oh, no. And you could smell oh, it. Oh, like, so you'd walk up the stairs and there'd be a door. You know, so you'd back <laughs> yeah. Up, and then you have to open up the door and there was like four more steps. That, mm -hmm. And then it was like all the bedrooms were up there or whatever. But as soon as you opened that door, like got to that top step, even before the door was open, I would be like. <sighs> oh, my God. I will never forget. And, I mean, and they kept it clean. You know, they kept changing it, but it's just that. It's the smell. You know, it, that, in the wood shavings yeah. or whatever that you use. I will never forget. I don't know what possessed me to, because like we had hamsters and, you know, not gerbils too much, but hamsters growing up and guinea pigs. And it was the kid's father's birthday. And I got him a hamster. And... Like, normal hamsters, yeah, you have to train them or whatever. And, like, they're not, like, mean. This hamster, when you put your hand in the cage, it started hissing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and the only person that could hold the hamster or, like, get close to it was his mother. That was the... And he, like, he... 
It's the stupidest thing I ever bought in my life. I don't even know why. It hissed? It hissed. It was like a hissing hamster. It was pissed. There was something wrong with it. There was something definitely wrong with it. Jeez. It probably had rabies. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Okay, we are at the 30-minute mark. Oh I'm going to have to edit this down. Well, you know, just... it's just because, first of all, we don't want to go in. And secondly, I feel like we have just become so comfortable with everyone here on YouTube. Stop. I did it. it. Ching. Well, it's also it. because we leave earlier. To... We leave earlier to get the coffee. And I feel like, yeah, we don't have a lot of time to talk because we're driving. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. The Judy and Angela show oh, will be back you on monday oh my gosh that's right bright and early that's right no friday today no. and you guys are in for a treat um about my surprise like i said i'm not gonna tell judy probably until sunday or monday maybe i don't know <sighs> surprises surprise do you have plans for the weekend surprise fingers uh, yeah, I do. It's a surprise. What are you doing this weekend? Um, Ooh, I'm getting a pain in my thigh. I have to... I want to get all the mulch that I bought for the front laid down. Oh. And I want to leave this. My goal is to get the mulch in the front laid down mm -hmm. and my the side of my house weeded. Judy, that fucking squirrel killed my begonia. Oh. My beautiful $10 begonia that I got from the fleet farm. And then we have to go to the aunties to start. Oh, yeah, start cleaning out the well, house. See, we, got, that we have to find some things. I have to find things too. My life. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Let us know in the comments down below what your plans are for the weekend because this will just give us ideas on what we can do in our own lives. In our own lives. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Oh, and thank you again for sponsoring. Thank you, Butch. Is it Butch? I can. I don't know what it is. I didn't really see the spelling. I have to look back at my text. Uh, B U C H A N A N. Buchana? Buchana! Is it Buchana? B U C H A N A N. Buchana. Judy doesn't know. Maybe I. I Buchanan. Buchana. A N A N is Anna. No. Buchanan. Anna, Anna. Buchanan? <laughs> Buchanan? Buchanan? Butch Cannon? I don't think it's Butch. Oh my God, we were saying it wrong this whole time. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. Oh.